In this video, let's work on the reflection on the tower. First, let's go down here to grab the reflection that we turned off at the beginning. So these two layers are the reflection. Bring them to the top. Now what I need to do is to recreate this reflection within After Effects. The way to do that is first, let's create a new solid layer. Go to Layer, New, click on Solid. And here's a window. Let's eye drop this color here, this light blue color on the reflection. So the solid that we're creating, it's going to be 1080 by 1080. We can rename it to Reflection. Click on OK. You see now we created a layer that's the same color as the reflection. And now what I need to do first, I, I want to draw along the lines of this reflection, but then this layer is covering on top of it, so I can't see that. The way to do that is first click on this icon. This is adjustment layer icon. Once I click on this, this layer is going to become a adjustment layer, which is going to be invisible. But at the same time, I can still draw on this layer. So with this icon checked, I can go on top here, grab a pen tool, and then zoom in. Just draw along the contour of this reflection like this. So this way, it's going to create a mask on top of this solid layer. And once I finish it, I'm going to click off. So that shape is done. And then click on this reflection layer again. I want to draw another mask beside it. Zoom in again, even further. I want to draw this shape here. Close the shape. And then we can turn off the adjustment layer like this. You can see this is the effect we get. So I did draw two masks on top of this solid layer. And now this solid layer, if I turn off the mask, so this is a layer before the mask. Once I draw the mask, it's going to show me only the part that's inside the mask that I drew. OK, we have the reflection now. I can delete the two reflection before, just delete those two. Now what I need to do is get this center section here. Try to find the layers. Center window. This is the center window, center top. So I got center window, center top, and center bottom. I want to pre-compose these layers. Command Shift C, pre-compose. Tower center section. Click on OK. And then I want to bring this reflection down on top of this tower center section. First, what I need to do is to animate this reflection going from the right hand side to the left. Click on P, position, right click, separate dimensions. So I want the reflection to animate around here. Click on the stopwatch, add a keyframe in the X position. Drag it to the right. So that's the reflection. And then go maybe over here. Drag the position to the left like this. So that's the animation of the reflection. Let's preview this. It might be too slow. I'm going to drag it closer 
here. Still feel like it's too slow, maybe even more. That looks better for now. And then what we need to do, remember the track mat that we were using before, we can do the same thing with this reflection. So all I need to do is to duplicate this layer, the tower center layer, command D duplicate, and then put this new duplicated layer on top of the reflection. Use this layer as the boundary of the reflection so that the reflection is only going to be visible inside this tower center section. Just set this reflection to alpha mat. And now you can see if I scrub through the timeline, the reflection is only visible when it's inside the tower. So that's how we achieve the reflection. Let's preview the animation. I still feel like there's no energy to this reflection. Let's grab the two keyframes even closer. Yep. Yeah. That looks better. Now I want to select the two keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy. Let's preview. Yeah, that looks good to me. That's how you do the reflection.